Today on VIP TV, one of the, the brighter prospects here in the stable, Ben Marksby. Ben, thanks for joining us today. Um, up to, I think you're at home in Darlington, aren't you? Yeah, just at home, Steve. How are you? I'm good, mate. I'm good. I'm very good. So, you're out again in Leeds this Saturday. Um, how's it been yep. turning professional? Because the first fight, I'm not saying you beat King Kong, but not many people take on a guy yeah. of a winning record first time up. It just it's been good. The whole experience so far has been good, Steve. Just um, just steady away, really. I've had, I've had another another good good camp. Just, just finished um, last training session this morning. Just done a little bit of light work and um, can't wait for Saturday. Yeah, I mean, what are you expecting on Saturday? Um, what's it you expecting it to be like? I've seen the. Um, I've watched a little bit of him. He's a little bit heavier. This fight's at. Um, a little bit of a heavier weight, just because I think we were struggling to get matched up for with uh, with someone. So I've watched a little bit. He just just a little small stocky, just uh, comes forward. I think he'll come have a go. To be fair, as well. Yeah. I, I didn't know they'd matched you up yet. Who is it? Who is the opponent? Have that gone overseas or? Yeah, he's he's a uh, Ukrainian. I don't even know how to pronounce his name, so I won't even like attempt it. I will just call um, him the the Ukrainian then. Yeah, I'm not. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Are you, were you, as when you was an amateur, were you used to this sort of thing? I'm not knowing who you were fighting until two days before. I guess you'd be in competitions, know the names, but not yeah. know who you was up against. No, back then you didn't like, well, I said back then when I was boxing for England and whatnot, you didn't really go to YouTube to watch them. You just used to just get in there, especially as an amateur. Yeah. You just used to just get in and just fight whoever. <laughs> Did so, you, when you was an amateur, was you any, was you ever shocked at who was in the other corner? Because you know it might have been some multi, you know, junior world champion or something. A couple of times, um, I once went to a camp in Ukraine actually, and uh, we, it was only meant to be a training camp. And when we got over there, we got told that we were fighting over there. Yeah, <laughs> so just a little bit like that, really. But yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it Saturday. I'm back out in um, December as well. So Steve's keeping you busy, isn't he? Yeah, you sound good. Good manager, Steve's keeping yeah. you well busy. Yeah. So what? What? What made you? Um, are you, you? It appears to me. Am I right in saying that you're one of these many, many, many young professionals who turned over during the pandemic and didn't bother with the seniors because you didn't know how much you you were you'd lose of your career as an amateur. I was well. What happened? We were. I'd. I'd. My first senior about the beginning of March. And then the I was meant to, I got entered for the senior of years, yeah, which were meant yeah. to start. I think it was like the twenty second of March last year, but then COVID come, so the so the senior of years got cancelled. I think they got cancelled like two or three days to go, and because I didn't know how long COVID would go on for and whatnot, I just I was talking to our dad, and he just said, "We'll just have a go turn over to him, bro." Yeah. Like I said I've got and. Kelly and uh, John Stubbs knows me coaches and they're probably two of the best coaches I've worked with. Yeah, so was, was it your dad who sent you to Aunt, Aunt Kelly and John Stubbs? Yeah, yeah. Well, I knew them from my amateur days anyway. So, like, it was just they, they just to start the stable up. So I just thought, well, um, I'll go with them and like I say, I've gone with them and I've enjoyed it. They've put me to, through two, two camps now and um, I'm always improving. I think that's all that matters for the time being, isn't it? Well, look, fighters like you, you've had one senior amateur fight. It's almost, you know, you're a fighter, you fight anyone. But the first 18 months, it's got to be adapting, learning it, fight, you know, having 10, 11 yeah. fights, fighting every style of opponent, bigger opponents, shorter opponents, lighter opponents, ones that come to survive, ones that want to knock your yeah. head off and developing that way, isn't it? Yeah, and I mean, even in four weeks from your last fight, I think I've improved from then. And you're like, well, you'll see Saturday, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so well, how did you end up with um, Steve Wood at VIP? Because there's not many well, he, he, North East fighters he's, he's managed before. Well, I can't think of any. I'm sure I am the only North East yeah, one, you know. He is the only one he's got at the moment, whether he's had one in the past or something. Yeah, maybe. I, just, I just wonder how that, how that come about, especially as you might have to do a lot of your fighting initially and still your name's out there. You know, it yeah. leads is, is, is still a fair track, but it could be Liverpool and Manchester, you boxing. Well, just um, we'd, 
it was more um, John and Anne really. They'd um, spoke to a couple of people and they pointed in Steve's direction and he, he has like fires a keep. Yeah. And I'm, he's a good friend of mine. I boxed him as an amateur. And um, like I say, he's just, I think he's got, he's done it all from like little shows to having like the likes of like Josh Warren and, yeah. and whatnot, Scott Fitzgerald. And I just think it was like just a good move to go with. Like I say, sometimes I'm boxing down the country and whatnot, but for the time being, it's, it's just just might as well getting the rounds in. That's right. Getting and out. Was... Yeah, and the good thing with Steve is, I think once you've had twenty fights or something, you know he's not he's not scared of moving you on with another promoter, is he? Like no, he got yeah. with Josh when he'd done his stuff, his time with him. Yeah, yeah. So like like you said, so far he's been perfect. So I can't complain at all. Yeah. You you weighed 142 pounds for your first fight. Is super lightweight going to be your, your weight? You settle out, or you're going to grow bigger, or how do you see yourself in? No, nah, I'm going to drop to lightweight. Yeah, this next one it's it's at like just over super light. I think he's coming in pound wise. I don't know. I think he's coming in about ten stone four. So I'm not I'm not up there with pounds yet. I need to keep working on it. I, I still use kilos. Uh, I'm a, hey, look, I'm I'm old enough to so it be your granddad. So I go in pounds. I, I talk pounds. I, I can't. You I talk, I, I, I keep trying to figure it out. Ten stone. You were you were 142 pounds. That's me being trendy when I say pounds. You were ten stone two yeah. just over your last fight. Don't ask me what that is in yeah. kilos. Well, I'm gonna fight the same weight for this one, and then next fight come. Like I say, we've been told if all's well Saturday, we could uh, fight again December 19th. I think that must be the last show Steve's going to put yeah, on. Yeah, is, is that the Jolly Boys show? The dinner yeah, show? Yeah, <laughs> it, yeah. So, all right. That, 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 that will be an do, experience, uh, I tell you. Trust me on that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to do lightweight for that one. Yeah. So up there in Just Darlington, apart, apart from boxing, anything else in your life up there? Just this is dog and a girlfriend. <laughs> well, let's have. I, I think you you are you stroking your dog there. Yeah, we dog. Let's have a look. Little, little pooches here. <laughs> Ronnie, oh, he's got the legs are too small to run with you, isn't he? Yeah, he's too. He's a fast little dog. <laughs> he's short. He can't get. He, maybe can't run though, but short short sprints. He's fast. <laughs> so little, little miniature sausage dog. Yeah. Who's your boxing idols? Oh, I watch them all. Um, I've been watching a lot of Oscar De La Hoya at the minute. Yeah. I really like him. Don't get me wrong, I know he's world champion and I'm not on his level yet, but if I keep watching him, then hopefully one day I can copy and pick bits up and I could, could box like him one day, hopefully. Cool. What a fun. Well, I tell you what, what a, you know, when I was mainly covering boxing in the 90s, he, he lost fights, he fought everybody. Who he didn't yeah. fight isn't worth bothering about. Jumped up weights. He, he just fought everybody. And yeah, you know, he's I mean, he, I'd give he, um, um, but people, you know, I think too many people look at losses on a record as well, like, and they'll look at his losses, but not what he fought. And was it 10 world titles? And yeah, God knows how many weights he fought at. Really, really, really good fight. Like you said, there's loads out there now at the minute, but just, um, I'm just enjoying the experience. Yeah. Steve, it's all good. It's all going see, well as well, Cam. Do you see Troy Williamson around a lot? Yeah, he's a good, good, good friend of mine. He's coming up on um, Saturday. Oh, I'll see him now. I'm there Saturday. Good fight that he is, isn't he? Yeah, really good fight. His last fight was unbelievable. Yeah. We went up. There was a couple of us, I think. We, there was Well, there was a lot of us, actually, that went up. But um, that was a good night. Yeah. And when, when you watch them fights, like what Troy was in against Ted Cheeseman... Do you think I want to be involved in a war like this one night? Because now yeah. everyone's talking about Troy. Before everyone, you know, people in the trade knew him, and if you knew that, you know, yeah. he's back, yeah, the sixty amateur fights, yeah. But that, that that win has sort of lifted. Having to have that war has lifted him to the next level. Whereas if it knocked yeah. Cheeseman out in two, three rounds, people might have just shrugged their shoulders. Yeah, like well, like you say, he's um. He's like a little mini celeb now where we are. He's, uh, <laughs> he is, but for, his graphs um, ridiculously hard. He's probably the most dedicated boxer like I know, and like, it's it's paid off on it. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest. I my thought of him because I used to work for Box Nation and I did quite a bit with him for Frank Warren when he was when he was involved in his career. And yeah, my 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 biggest shock was how he kept making one five four. 
he must just work his nuts off to make that no. weight because he, he's yeah. huge. Well, he's massive for the weight, isn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Well, well, back to you. He's um, he's, he's for the way. Yeah, back to yourself. Well, it's a Saturday night. Um, what sort of performance yeah. can your fans who are making the trip to Darlington expect? A good, a good one. Hopefully, like like I say, I'm not wanting to go and look for the knockout. If a knockout comes, it'll come. But if not, I'll just just get the rounds in for the experience, really. But I've been I felt a million dollars in the gym the last couple of weeks straight after this one. I had no time off. A couple of days after my last one, like I say, twenty four weeks. So I've been back in the gym four weeks hard, and um, like I say, I just I just feel good. Feel really good. And you'll already have five or six weeks to the next fight, won't you? So it might be a few more days off and back in. Yeah, same again. A couple more days off, straight back in, out again the 19th of December. And because um, I think after that, I don't think, I don't think I'll be out again until like March time, Steve was saying. Yeah, I, I don't think he's planning any shows mm. till late February. Yeah. Yeah, he said he was going to have a, a couple of months off, which, like I say, he's been busy the last couple of months. He's been really busy, hasn't he? Yeah, Maddish. I think he's got about five five shows in as many weeks coming up now, which is pretty crazy. Like he's, but... he's got me out once every month. I mean, October, this one November, next December. So I couldn't ask for any more, really. You know what? You most probably be out five times next year, maybe six. Who knows? Yeah. You know, this time next year, we could be speaking. You could be 10 and zero. We're looking at titles, some sort of well, international so. title or area title. And, Getting so to Wolsey, yeah. getting to, to targeted the Wolsey's big paydays. Yeah. No, like I say, just I just just take it step by step, really, fight by fight. Yeah. At the time for the time being. I've got a good team around me, so it's all about the right fights at the right time, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, well like he's, what... he's doing well, Steve, with all the younger ones. I see all the upcoming ones, like the likes of the Bradley Ray and all them. Do you yeah. know what I mean? They're all He's doing well with them also, please. You can be there. And well, Bradley Ray, I mean, we're talking you being 10 and zero. I think he's 11 or 12 and zero. So in a, yeah. in a year, 18 months, you could be where he is. And he's not that, he's a, you know, he's not that much older than you, is he? No, I don't. I think he could even be my year, you know. I think is he, he I could be my a, I thought it was a year above you. Is he 23? He could be a year above. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, I think it might he be the year be above, above you. Yeah. yeah. He boxed at an amateur from. My dad's gym when I was back there in the uh, in the championships. Yeah, I, for, I, I, years, thought, years I thought he, I thought he was a year above you for some reason. Maybe, well, maybe I I'm think wrong. he could have been. He, he could be the year above. I can't remember at the time whether the championships you could enter like with we year above. I can't really, really remember, but yeah, he, um, he's a good fighter. Yeah, <laughs> he's doing well. He's doing very well. Well, hopefully you'll yeah. be doing just as well in a year or two, and. Uh, Thanks for yeah. joining us today on VIP TV. I'll get you, let you get yeah, back to your little dog stick. there. Yeah, good. Yeah, straight go out for a walk. <laughs> right, and I'll see you Saturday in Leeds. Yeah, I'll see you Saturday. Thanks very much indeed. See you, Steve. Bye bye. For all boxing info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro across and off, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.